The man accused of shooting four people in downtown Norfolk made his first court appearance this morning. 25 year old Tyshawn Gray faces several charges, including aggravated assault of a law enforcement officer, malicious wounding, and gun charges. A Norfolk sheriff's deputy is among the four victims shot last Friday on East Plume Street. Ten in your size, John Dowding, continues our coverage. John? Yes, yeah, so Stephanie Regina Gray faces a total of nine charges stemming from the shooting outside of the Legacy Lounge on Plume Street. Ten on your side caught up with Legacy Lounge's bar manager over the weekend. She tells us what she says happened inside the lounge before shots rang out, while court documents suggest something else could have led up to the shooting. 25 year old Tyshawn Gray faces nine charges, including aggravated assault of a law enforcement officer and three counts of malicious wounding. It all stems from when four people were shot early Friday morning on Plume Street outside of Legacy Lounge in downtown Norfolk. Speaking to 10 on your side over the weekend, the bar manager of Legacy Lounge, Sharita Parker, tells us what she says happened inside the lounge before shots were fired outside. She tells us she didn't see any altercation inside the building. She saw people running back inside, though, when the shooting started. There was no fight on the inside of the club, no incident that could have, you know, provoked that person that did that to even, you know, want to do what he did. So, no, no fight at all. Norfolk Interim Chief of Police Michael Goldsmith said during a press conference Friday, Gray fired into the crowd when people began to exit. Court documents reveal Gray was kicked out of the lounge prior to the shooting, raising a question of what prompted his removal from the lounge. Legacy Lounge opened just a few weeks ago. Parker says she feels the city manager's remarks Friday, in part saying operating in downtown Norfolk is a privilege, are an attack on black-owned businesses. Things happen in, in, in black-owned business, and the first thing to do is let's get them out of here. Um, Plume Street, everybody knows that Plume Street is like Norfolk's baby, and they really don't want anything that could cause any ruckus on this street. Now, I reached out to a handful of Norfolk City Council members to get their response to Friday's press conference. I haven't yet heard back. Gray will be back in Norfolk Court Wednesday morning after this morning's arraignment was continued. In the newsroom, I'm John Dowding. 10 on your side.